SEO can be extremely overwhelming and you've probably got people emailing you every single day telling you they can get you on page one of Google. Well, to help out in this video, I'm gonna take you through seven Squarespace SEO tips to help you increase your traffic and also rank higher on search engines. Now, according to Ahrefs, 84.9% of Squarespace domains get zero organic traffic. And I'm on a mission to improve this. I'm the founder of SEO Space, where I provide a Squarespace SEO plugin and free resources to help you increase your traffic. So if you'd like to dive in a little bit deeper, you can check out my full Squarespace SEO tips blog on seospace.co.uk and also my Squarespace SEO plugin. But let's get into it. My first Squarespace SEO tip is get your keyword research right. Keyword research is the process of finding out which keywords you're going to optimize your web page and website for. Without this, you're not gonna know what you want to rank for, and you won't have a clear direction for what you're trying to achieve with your SEO efforts. Therefore, you might be wondering, how do you do keyword research? Well, there's three ways you can do keyword research. Either ask your customers, speak to them and ask what they would search into Google in order to find your product or service. For example, if you build Squarespace websites, you may speak to your customers and find out that to find you, they would search Squarespace website designer, which means you probably need to optimize your website to rank for Squarespace website designer. Secondly, look at your competitors. Your competitors may have spent a lot of money in getting the SEO right, they may have done the keyword research right, they may have also done it wrong, but by looking through your competitors' websites and figuring out what they rank for and what they've optimized their website for, you'll be on a much better track when you start off your keyword research and eventually optimize your website to rank for those keywords. And thirdly, you can use SEO tools. And there's two that I like to use. First of all, there's keywords everywhere. $10 worth of credits on this tool easily lasts me three months. So it's a fantastic tool for keyword research. And essentially when you type in any term on the internet, you can see the search volume for that term. So here you can see a thousand people per month search for Squarespace website designer. So not only can you make sure that people are actually searching for your keyword, but it will also show you related keywords and long tail keywords, which is a fantastic way to start off from a term you think you may want to rank for, and then iterate to find other terms you could rank for on a particular web page or across different pages on your website. The second tool that I like to use is SEO Space's Squarespace SEO plugin. On any Squarespace website, you can enter a keyword that you want to optimize your web page for and run a test. And this tool is not only gonna tell you the total volume, either the number of people that search for this keyword per month, but it's also gonna show you related keywords that you may want to optimize this web page for, or again, you could optimize other areas of your website for. Now, moving on to the second Squarespace SEO tip. Now you know the keywords that you want to rank for on Google based upon what people are actually searching for and based upon data that you've dove into through the two tools that I showed you. You now need to write content to make sure that you can rank for these keywords. And in particular, I want you to write blog content. Now, blog content is so important because you need to show to Google that you're an expert in the space. If you want to rank for Squarespace website designer, for example, Google wants to see that you have relevant content on your website around that topic so it knows that you're an expert before then ranking you high on search engines. And that ties onto this video actually because there's two reasons that I'm recording this video. First of all, I want to provide Squarespace users with free advice in order to improve their traffic. But also, we're gonna have a blog on our website about Squarespace SEO tips. And we're gonna include about 25 SEO tips there. In this video, we've obviously got seven, but all of that is gonna go on our website. And the reason it's going on our website is because we want to show to Google that we're an expert about Squarespace SEO, which is gonna make it more likely that we're going to rank higher for Squarespace SEO terms, such as Squarespace SEO plugin. So if you do the same, if you write content around the topic you want to rank for, Google's gonna see you're an expert, it's gonna trust you more, and your ranking's going to improve. On top of this, it's also gonna see that you're publishing regular content on your website, which is gonna see that you're active, and again, make it more likely that Google will rank you higher in its search engine. So do keyword research, and then write content around those keywords that you want to rank for. 
possibly in the form of a blog, but you may also want to add more content to your existing web pages to improve your authoritiveness on Google. Now onto the third Squarespace SEO tip. This is around quality content. So you know what keywords you want to rank for, you're beginning to write content. Now you need to make sure that this content is high quality and worthy of Google ranking you higher. One thing you've got to remember is that Google makes money by people using its search engine. If it ranks poor quality content on its search engine, it's gonna be less likely that people are gonna come back and use its search engine, which means they're less likely to see ads and Google earns less money. So if you write high quality content, Google's more likely to push it up because users that see that content are gonna see that it's high quality and are therefore more likely to come back to Google to see adverts, which ultimately earns Google revenue. So remember, make Google's life easier, write high quality content. And if you don't believe me, here is a post on Quora from Squarespace's CEO, Anthony Casalena. And here you can see that he's talking about Squarespace SEO, which is more friendly, WordPress or Squarespace which by the way, I've got a video on on my YouTube channel if you wanna check it out in the description. And if you read at the end, you can see he says, in any modern platform, having better content is going to be the biggest thing you can do to get found. And I couldn't agree with Anthony anymore. Writing high quality content, no matter the platform, is gonna make it more likely that you rank higher on search engines. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, around 95% of Squarespace websites don't get any organic traffic. And that isn't necessarily because they're not all writing high quality content. There are other things that they're not doing. So make sure you stay around to the end of the video to make sure that you're not falling into any pitfalls. And if you're unsure of what high quality content means, all you need to do is search into Google the thing that you want to rank for. For example, if you want to rank for Squarespace website designer, one of the amazing things about Google is that its search engine shows you what you need to beat. You can see all of the pages here that are ranking on page one for Squarespace website designer, which allows you to do competitive research and ultimately find out what Google deems is high quality content by looking at these competitors. For example, Kirsty M Design, she's ranking high up on Google for Squarespace website designer. Sorry, Kirsty, but if I wanted to beat you, what I would do is look for your website I'd look at the quality of content that you're writing, I'd look at what you're writing, and I would essentially aim to beat that. Not only on this page, but taking you back to the second tip, we know that we've got to write content that is around this topic. So I would go to Kirsty's blog, I would see what she's writing about, and I would use this to start off my keyword research to essentially find out what would I need to do in order to beat Kirsty. For example, you can see here, she's doing a blog on upgrading Squarespace sections to Fluid Engine. This can all be really helpful for you because whatever space you're in, whatever keywords you want to rank for, you can type it into Google, see what's already ranking, and figure out the quality level that you need to beat in order to rank on page one. Now, moving on to the fourth Squarespace SEO tip. And if you're here, you've probably heard or read on forums that some people say Squarespace is bad for SEO. And I'm not gonna cover this in too much detail because I've already recorded a video on why Squarespace is slow and how to fix it, which again, you'll find in the description. But in short, Squarespace is slower than other platforms when you put it into Google's PageSpeed Insight Score. For example, when I take my website SEO space, which is currently in progress, we're building out for the launch of our Squarespace SEO plugin. As you can see, on this web page, there's literally no content. There's nothing really other than a couple of contact forms. But when we take this to Google's PageSpeed Insights, which is Google's own tool, which enables you to test the PageSpeed score, i.e. how fast your website loads according to Google or within your web browser. When you put any Squarespace website onto Google, you can see that its performance is very low. On mobile, this ranks 36 out of 100. When you compare to many WordPress websites, it's very easy to get those 90 plus. However, on Squarespace, it's not as easy. And in fact, there are some things that you just cannot change about Squarespace, which is one of the benefits because it's easy to use but it also lacks some functionality. So as such, you need to make sure you do what you can in order to speed Squarespace up. And one of the things that I've seen so many Squarespace websites do wrong is not compressing their images. You need to make sure that before you upload 
any image onto your Squarespace website, you put it through this image compression tool, which you can find at imagecompressor.com. And all you need to do is upload your file, download it, and then re-upload it onto your Squarespace website to make sure that it is not too big. And you wanna make sure your banner image are less than 500 kilobytes, and the other images on your website are less than 250 kilobytes. Again, this is to make sure your website loads fast, which is one of the ranking factors that Google looks at when it determines where to rank your website on Google. And if you're unsure of this, feel free to check out SEO Spaces, Squarespace SEO plugin, where the plugin will actually tell you any images that are greater than 250 kilobyte. And not only will it tell you which images need to be compressed, but it'll also tell you the size. And when you click on the images, it will take you to exactly where they are on the website. And it is probably worth mentioning, sorry Sam for picking you out here. Sam's actually my friend and a fantastic Squarespace website designer. And in fact, he built my SEO and content marketing agency's website and SEO Spaces website. So if you do wanna work with a Squarespace website designer, check out Sam at bycrawford.com. Now, moving on to the fifth Squarespace SEO tip. This is specifically going to look at your SEO descriptions. You need to make sure that your SEO descriptions are filled out following best practices and including the main keywords that you want a certain page to rank for. Now, this is something that you have to pay attention to because the SEO descriptions on Squarespace are a little bit hidden as I'll show you now. So when you're on your Squarespace editor, what you want to do is go to the main navigation on the left-hand side and click on settings. When you click on settings, if you go to SEO, what you can see here is your SEO title and SEO description. Your SEO title is essentially the title that appears on search engines, as you can see here, and your SEO description also called your meta description can be seen here. You can see that this is your meta description as shown here. Sometimes Google won't pull through your exact meta description that you put in here. So don't worry about that. Keep tweaking and keep playing around and follow the other tips. And it's more likely that your SEO description will pull through as you want it to. So for every single page, as you can see here, this is the new web page for my Squarespace SEO plugin when it loads in here. I haven't yet filled these through as I want to hide this page from search results as of course it's in progress. But essentially what you want to do, your SEO title should be between 50 and 60 characters, as well as including the main keyword that you want to rank for, which in this case would be Squarespace SEO plugin. And your meta description should be between 150 and 160 characters and again include your primary keyword that you want this page to rank for which for me would be Squarespace SEO plugin and again you also need to make sure these are captivating because SEO isn't just about ranking higher on search engines you also need to make sure that you're writing high quality content as I mentioned and if my SEO title and SEO description aren't captivating here then even if this is ranking on page one, people aren't gonna see this and want to click on it. However, increasing click-through rates is a whole other topic. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as this is a topic that I'm going to be including in the future. Now, moving on to the sixth Squarespace SEO tip. This tip is specifically around making sure your Google Search Console is connected correctly. Now, Google Search Console is Google's own platform where you can tell Google that your website is ready to be put on search engines and where you can see all the data around how people are finding and clicking on you organically through Google's search engine. And again, I've got a whole other video on this topic, which I'll leave in the description. But in summary, what you want to do is first of all, connect your Google Search Console and then submit your sitemap. I'm going to assume you've already connected your Google Search Console, but if you don't know how to do this, again, check out my YouTube video. And to submit your sitemap on Google Search Console, what you want to do is go down to sitemaps, and then in this box, what you want to do is type in sitemap.xml and press submit. As you can see here, I already had it submitted, but basically one of the benefits of Squarespace is it automatically generates your sitemap, which is essentially the structure, the map that tells Google what content you have on your website. And all you need to do to show it to Google is enter in sitemap.xml, as I've just shown you there, which will tell Google directly that it should show you on its search engines. And all you need to do is wait a few days and hopefully it will begin picking up data for how people are finding you and clicking on you on its search engines. 
Now, moving on to the last and seventh Squarespace SEO tip. This one is specifically around building backlinks. Backlinks are links from other websites, i.e. hyperlinks, to yours. And backlinks are very important due to something called domain authority. Domain authority is a score Google gives you that determines how authoritative, i.e. how much respect Google gives you on its search engines from zero to 100. The higher your domain authority, the more likely it is that you're going to rank for highly competitive keywords. And one of the main things that impacts the score of your domain authority is how many high quality backlinks, i.e. how many links you have from other websites to yours. And this is really important because again, in this study that Ahrefs conducted, looking at WordPress websites compared to Squarespace websites, you can see that Squarespace websites on average have a domain authority of 3.62 compared to WordPress's 5.23. And on average, Squarespace websites had only 6.5 backlinks or referring domains. And essentially, one of the things that you can do to put your Squarespace website above other websites that are ranking on search engines is get more high quality backlinks pointing to your website. Website. And again, you may be sitting there and thinking, Henry, but how do I get backlinks? Well, I'm going to take you through three easy ways to get backlinks. First of all, use your contacts. Squarespace has a fantastic community and you're going to likely know people that have other websites who you can either write content for to point backlinks towards your website or you can ask them for a favor to maybe add a quote on their website, again, with a backlink back to yours. Second of all, outreach. Find other websites in your industry, find other websites in your niche and outreach to them and ask for a backlink in return. Whether this is to your contacts, whether it's to other people in your niche that you don't already know yet, again, build those relationships, get in contact with them. You probably shouldn't have the intent of just getting a backlink from them. You should always look to provide value first. But if you don't outreach to them, people aren't gonna know that you're looking for backlinks and you're probably not gonna get anywhere, which takes us really well to the third point, and this is provide value to people whether it's your contacts whether it's the people you're outreaching to provide value and this can be through two ways either you provide value to other people to get a backlink from their website in return by providing a guest post for example or provide value through the content on your website think about it you've probably done research before you've probably written content and linked to other websites as a source if you write high quality content on your website it's gonna be more likely that over time people are going to link to you because you're providing value and those ultimately are the best backlinks to get because you've got them in return for providing value because you have high quality content, which is the second tip that I provided to you. So all of these tips build incrementally on top of each other. So follow these and I guarantee you your traffic will increase. And if you have any questions or you're unsure, head to seospace.co.uk where we provide a free Squarespace SEO audit tool where you can analyze your website and get tips for how to improve it. And you can also, of course, check out our resources and Squarespace SEO plugin, which is going to make it much, much easier for you to follow these tips and best practices and improve the amount of organic traffic that you're getting from Google search engines. So thanks a lot, guys. That was my seven Squarespace SEO tips. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.